New Zealand and Australia could soon open their borders to each other as they begin to restart their economies after getting a hold on their respective coronavirus outbreaks. The neighbours, who are separated by the Tasman Sea, have substantially lowered their virus spreads to a level well below those in the United States and many countries in Europe. Here's New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. One key aspect of our plan to get New Zealand moving is the work on the trans-Tasman bubble. Today I can confirm that I've accepted uh, Prime Minister Morrison's invitation to participate via video link in the Australian National Cabinet meeting scheduled for tomorrow. The meeting will discuss a range of matters in relation to the COVID response on both sides of the Tasman, including the creation of a trans-Tasman travel bubble. Neither Scott Morrison nor Ardern has outlined what a bubble would look like, and there's no time frame, but it would likely allow free movement between Australia and New Zealand, while both keeping their borders closed with other countries. Australia and New Zealand have very close economic ties, with Australia the most important source of international tourists into New Zealand, according to Deutsche Bank economist Philip O'Donoghue. With airlines resuming services, he says a trans-Tasman bubble would likely go a long way to alleviate the negative virus impact on New Zealand's tourism trade. 